subscribe gadget filter channel and tap the bell icon to never miss any update what's going on youtube this is shahzad shubud back once again from gadget filter channel and in this video i am going to review the aokp rom for moto g5 plus i will talk about features performance and bugs of this rom so guys sit back relax and enjoy the show So before going for review in this channel we cover gadget reviews apps and game reviews and custom rom reviews just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing so any further ado let's see what we have got in this rom this is AOKP latest nightly version this rom comes with 5th july 2017 security patch and this is the latest patch also it is based on android nougat 7.1.2 which is really nice this rom is also based on lineage os as well as the kernel they are using is also lineage kernel so in the settings menu there is aokp section where you will find navigation and rom control options in the navigation settings you can enable or disable navigation bar as well as you can use smart bar or fling navigation mode there is aokp logo on fling mode you have to swipe to go back and swipe right to go to the recent panel i really like this feature in the smart bar settings you can set double tap on navigation bar to switch off the screen as well as you can set the soft keys transparency and can adjust height and width and there is also pulse option to equalize audio graphics on the nav bar so in the rom control settings you will get 10 things to customize first is app launcher here you will get app circle bar and app side bar enabling this a sidebar will pop up and swiping it will show most important app in shortcut then there is general here you can customize something like clock app settings boot animation change recent panel mode etc here you can also change the clear all button style of recent panel which is really nice after that there is hardware keys for using power button and volume buttons functionalities then you will get lock screen customization options and notification drawer for customizing quick settings panel then you will find pi not only you can enable or disable the pi control here you can also change pi style target any app color it etc which i found really awesome then there is power menu to add something to power menu sound for sound modifications status bar for changing clock and battery style as well as enabling weather and aokp logo on the status bar and lastly there is user interface here you can change animation style power menu opacity and dimming etc the performance of this rom is pretty much fine this rom is pretty much smooth and fast but i faced some lag in gaming but that is very rare battery backup is also decent i am satisfied with the battery backup but you can also use custom kernel like experimental kernel that is also very good the camera of this rom is normal you will get lots of options front camera is pretty much nice but the back camera is noisy because of this device back camera quality honestly i am saying i didn't find any bug in this rom though it is in beta version fingerprint sensor works fine all the gestures works good so you can use it as your daily driver so guys that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see this kind of rom reviews for moto g5 plus subscribe to this channel and i will catch you very soon in the next one